So what, wait a second here. We're going to start. You can't, that DVD doesn't go a little bit slower. No. How it do you know? Need, it doesn't need to. Well, we can get the story in there. What story? He, well, it's going to be going so quick, he's not going to, he's going to be skipping. There's, there's going to be plenty of time for him to talk about something. Okay, it's fine. You can't pause it and keep the music going, <laughs> the talking going or something? That doesn't work or what? I can do, I can do anything I have to as far as when I get to editing it. Right now? Well, you're going to get it all mixed up. This is a uh, vacation we had at Clear Lake, Indiana. That's Uncle Bill rowing the boat. This is a little, little lake near Indiana, Michigan, and Ohio. That's, that was my, my mom and Bill and our little brother, little Elmer. Where am I? Oh, that's... You're rowing the boat? No, that's Bill. I'm in the front of the boat. That's little Elmer on the back, and that's Dad. And this is also the very beginning of Wish Doctor Productions transferring film. This is the very first film I ever transferred. Wow. So this is the beginning. Yeah. Excuse the crudity of, crudity of it. Hello. Say something. Say something? Oh. Something? something? One, two, three, four, five, okay. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack, Queen, right, King. We're okay. <laughs> we thought we had a technical malfunction. Hello? Error. Was it running? It's running. Was it before? Yes. Sir. Oh, it started over. There's Mom, Bill. That's Clear Lake. Wasn't very blue. Who's that? It's Uncle Bill. Uncle Bill. With his sunglasses. Two years older than me, a little over two. I didn't know they had sunglasses way back then. I didn't know they had sun. You didn't know they had rowboats? <laughs> rowboats, yeah. Looking pretty dapper. Now I'm here in Ohio. Indiana. Oh. Indiana. Vacation in Indiana? Yeah, we used to go there. Well, during the Depression, that was a not too far drive. The near near Michigan, Ohio, and you Indiana. Have fine in that's the mom, and that's a little Elmer. He must have been about four there, huh? Looked like Uncle Gordon, didn't it? Yeah, a little yeah, bit. when he was little. Yeah. <laughs> In the boat, on vacation, in a see. suit and tie. Look at the horse. <laughs> Must be a wish <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, there's Bob. Oh, Still on the horse. That's a little over. I got the horse. Great, great grandpa. Grandpa just fell off great the horse. And I don't know who the dog his, is. His dad. And that's a Romer, and that's me, and that's Bill. 1929? Yeah. Oh, my And Dad, goodness. at that time, was about 37. And, and that's, you have, they have a record? Yes, that's what you're watching. <laughs> this was filmed in 1929. Oh Actually, God. this was filmed in, like, 39. 39. 39, so. about 39. Great, great grandpa got the camera in 1927. He got it the year I was born. They got pictures of me somewhere. It's in there. Yeah, really. Look young. at the peacocks. And I think this is it. I think this is it. Either at Vermilion or Look. putting that's grandpa and grandma, mom's dad and mom on the right in the wow. back, and the three of us kids. Their last name? Geisel. Geisel. G e i s e l. And that's your dad. And that's Elmer. Wishmeyer. Great grandpa. And he was about 39 there. And there we are. Yes, we have Earl Lloyd, Earl Jr., help narrating today. And we've got Mary L. and Mariah, and Mary Sella, and John Wishmeyer. And Ray Wishmeyer, the ringleader. <laughs> That's me waving. I was always clowning around in the movies. Mm -hmm. Look at the bikes. Mary, look at those funny bikes. Now, this is Putin Bay. That's where we rented the, the tandem bicycles. And I don't know who no, those people are. That's Bill and me. Which one is you? In the front or in the back? In the back. He's the littler one. I'm the littlest one. There's Mom and Dad. Well, we're running alongside. And that's 
this guy with a little it's longer in the front. In Ohio, or Indiana. Put in Bay. It's a place here in, in Ohio. Lake, in Lake Erie. It's an island in Lake Erie. It's an island in the lake. Mm. This is a church across It's a church from across from the funeral home where we were raised. Archwood Congregational. It looks about the same if you go there today. That tree is bigger. That's me. <laughs> I worked at the flower shop then. That, that's that's me working that, in the flower shop. That thing a can of. I used to change all of the water in the cans that uh, held the flowers in the cooler. And that's the church next door to where we lived. That's Brooklyn Methodist. And this is on Memorial Day or Decoration Day, it was called then, I guess. Look at those cars. And those, a lot of new, nice new cars there. And this is the American Legion or the BFW getting ready for their parade. And there's a funeral home that we moved into in 1939. That's before Dad put the addition on. And that's a parsonage right next door. And the church is to the left. And that's a funeral home with a big six-car garage in the backyard. And the driveway all the way around. Narrow driveway. Yeah, narrow driveway. I think that was me, I'm not sure. That may have been Elmer. This had to be about 1940, 39 or 40, I'm not sure. And the neighbor kids. That's Elmer. Barbara Dennison, John Mullen next door, the minister's son, and Elmer had to be, what, about seven there? Dewey Burrow, friend, friend that got me a job at the flower shop. I don't know where he got the old car from, and I'm not sure who that is. That was a guy that lived next door, a friend of mine, and this has got to be I don't know. I must have been in junior high school at this point. The neighbor girls. That's Elmer. That's me and my friend from next door. That's Uncle Bill. This must be Sunday coming home from church. That's when Dad always took our pictures. And he always gave instructions whoever's taking the picture. <laughs> Whoops, that's overexposed. That's me and Mom coming up from church. This must be junior high school or high school. I don't know. Mom and Dad. We did your thing, okay? And that's Mom and Little Elmer. Nice knickers. I don't know who that guy is. Is that Bill? Billy and Ray with Shirley Rickett, Spring... What was the date? 29. 29. There's Dad. Where Aww. Where he wished Mark. I was two. And an Eskimo. Wow. Even the other kids are laughing at him. And that's the side yard there over on the Riverside. The guy that worked for Dad mowing the lawn. What was his name? Ed Stoller. Ed Stoller. Yeah, he worked for Dad for years. The old push lawnmower. Yeah. Now who's in the carriage? I think that's the the, I think that's Shirley. That was me on running around outside. Mother's Day, Brookside Park, twenty nine, okay. So I was two and a half at this point. That's me with the bald head. That's Billy. <laughs> and Garlock's farm. That's my dad's sister and her husband. That's mom with the hat. <laughs> That's Jake. That's my cousin who was a pediatrician, took care of all of our kids when they were little. And that's Aunt Clara, dad's sister. Uncle Jewel, her husband, and Bill and Ray.
guy is cousin Jake. That's the Geisel reunion at Coleman's. That's Mom's younger sister. They lived in Menor, Ohio. <clears throat> Which is east of Cleveland. Yeah, it's halfway to Ashtabula. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> I never knew where it was until now. There they are backing out of our driveway. That's Grandpa and Aunt Grace, I guess. I don't know, Uncle Walter. That was Uncle Biff, one of Mom's uncles from Crestline, Ohio. That's Aunt Grace and her youngest Bobby's about my age. That was Bill. And there comes Uncle Al. That's Mom's older sister's husband. Is that but, Uncle Al climbing out yeah. the window? Yeah, he was, he was always fooling good. around in St. B. Yeah. And uh, that's Grandma. That's me and Mom. And this is... Uh, Grandpa coming in, I don't know how many times that happened going back and forth. There's Grandpa, and that was Grandma riding on the running board. And this is Aunt Clara's mom's oldest brother's wife and the two daughters. That's me again. And that's another aunt. Heinz Ketchup, did you see that? The same label that they got now. <laughs> me enjoying the sunshine. I see Uncle Walter over there and Uncle Al, that's dead. and dad. There was no uh, football game on TV that afternoon. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's okay. cousin Jake again. That's me pulling Bill and cousin Jake. That's got to be somewhere near Vermilion, Ohio. And I don't know who that guy is. I don't know all these people. But some friends of Dad's, I guess. That wouldn't be down on Wishmark Creek, would it? No, no, that's Bay Village. Oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> the river. That's Bill. I don't know who all these kids are. That's Bill right there. Bill again. Dr. Albert's farm. It was a cousin named Albers. They got that wrong when they printed it. He had a farm out off of Ridge Road. Not too far out now. It was farmland then. <coughs> and uh, well, there's an old Uncle Will Benhoff from Indiana. And I don't know who all the kids are. There are a bunch of relatives from Dad's side, some from out of town. Two of those guys, it's hard to identify, I could tell you. So, there they are, they're the Blase boys. They lived in San Francisco and they bought property after the big fire out there and they were very wealthy. I have pictures of them when I visited out in Napa Valley. They had a place on the river. We have that yeah. in this at one point. That's Uncle Will Benhoff. Well, <laughs> baseball. Dad playing baseball. 
<clears throat> and down the basement getting at the beer. That's the yard on Riverside Avenue. July 29. Bill was almost uh, five and I was about two and a half. That's Grandma Guys on Mom's Mom. Brookside Park. That's Bill. On the horse? Or is that? Yeah, that's Bill. And that's me. <laughs> that's yeah. a pony, not a horse. Well. <laughs> we would look much smaller on a horse. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, we got the leopards. sister. She was a few years older than dad. Who is that? Oh. Oh, who's that, Mom? I don't know. <laughs> That's mom and dad. He's always horsing around. Twenty nine. He was born in ninety three. So in twenty nine he was thirty six. Thirty six, huh? after Dad got back from Rochester. <laughs> they didn't have airplanes back then. I did a transfer in Phoenix and they had air races also from Cleveland. 
right, right, the old Ford right. tri-motor. There's no pavement at the airport back then, huh? No paved runways, no. It was the biggest, I think it was the biggest airport in the country in those days. It was a big area. Army planes, I guess. And they were, oh, look at there. They were going like fast, like maybe 70, 80 miles an hour. <laughs> Quite an affair. Look at all the carts, tents, wow. and stuff. Holy wow! Man. Like a crowd. The air races in Cleveland continued till way up into oh gosh, in the fifties. Oh, Christmas over on Riverside Avenue. Sir? Riverside Avenue. Riverside. You was rich. Your family was rich. What? Have camera. Oh. You, you not have. really. <laughs> look nice. Your family look nice. Like a there's that. Morning. There's that <laughs> thing Gordon has. That was in the dining room over on Riverside. Break front. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Got all the china in it. Bill's bicycle. Huh? That's a little Elmer. Best stroller you have? Pardon? Look at that stroller you have? Yeah. Baby carriage? Yeah. Baby carriage. That's what they used in the old a days. A good one. I don't know who that lady is. Must be a neighbor. Or a relative. I don't know. You have that, to. That's the three of us, Bill and myself and no, little Elmer. No, no. That's me singing on the right hand side. <laughs> that, that's you, huh? 
Yeah, I'm just a llama. Singing, I mean. Dead. You have a cigar in his mouth, yeah? Yeah. No, the younger brother, no. No, neither of my brothers are alive. Little Elmer passed away when he was in a football accident at 14. Oh, okay. And Bill passed away. He lived to be about 76. He died a few years ago. Okay. <laughs> now, who's that? Right That's here? Elmer. That's Elmer. Identify that woman. I don't know who all the kids are. I guess it was a birthday party for somebody. I'm surprised that there's as much light in there as there is. Yeah. I don't even know where that was. I guess that was in the kitchen over on Riverside. short pants. So how much older were you than Elmer? Little Elmer? About five years. So that makes you about six or seven there. Yeah. Mom used to comb our hair, put wave, put wave set on it, because my hair would never lay down unless it was combed. And he, she had wave set on the lomers there, making it stand up like that. and that store, there was a store next to us with a driveway in. This was the backyard of the store, which was all paved with bricks. It was right next to our driveway. And I don't know where this is. Grandpa's showing off. <laughs> yeah, you're cool, Grandpa. He's walking with his fine suit and hat and cigar. I like that one hand in the air. It's kind of like a Michael Jackson thing. <laughs> Bill. And this is a couple of mom's cousins. That's Marjorie, our cousin Marjorie. And Virginia, that's Uncle Walter's kids. They were rollers and we were. And, uh, oh, that's, that's Aunt Grace's kids. Bobby, Jack, Maxine, and that's Bobby again. That's 
No. That's Jack. Cousin Marjorie and Virginia, Uncle Walter's kids. And these are the odd girls, cousin mom's cousin Verlene and her kids. And I don't know. That that's grandpa, that's grandma, mom's mom and dad. And her sisters and cousins from down in Crestline, Ohio. That's Aunt B, mom's oldest sister. That's cousin Verlene. Man, Dad knew how to get him in the picture. He had everybody marching by on. Uh-huh. <laughs> Grandma again. <laughs> and Dad. <laughs> Mom, when you say Mom's oldest sister, you're talking about Grandma Maine. Yeah, my mom's. Yeah. Yeah. She had, she had one, two sisters and a brother, three sisters. And a brother. That's that's grandma's cousin. Bobby and Jack and the cousins the same. That's grandpa not <laughs> clowning around. That's not my dad, it's my mom's dad. That's the front of the house on Riverside. I guess we were going to Sunday school or something, I don't know. Sweeping off the front porch. I wonder if that's Little Elmer. Could be. I was about five there. That could be when Little Elmer was born. Yeah, that's it. We were all bald-headed now. I come to take girls home. Or to my house. Yeah. And some girls want to go to my house. Yeah, I asked them if they wanted to go play with some little girls, and they thought that was a good idea. And actually, a nice day like today, have you met the, any of the neighbors? Like, No. We should go. Yeah, you guys haven't been at all. Maybe to do in this recording. No, it's it's great, you know. This is, uh, well, we're missing people. Gordon Wishmar just walked in. And Earl Lloyd was out playing with the kids outside while Grandpa's narrating. Look at those bicycles. How about that? Look at that. Did you see that bike, Mario? There we are. Who's that? I don't know who that is. That must have been some babysitter that Mom had. That's Mom Santa. pushing a little over. We're still eating her famous brown bread today. Mm-hmm. Had some this morning. Yeah. I'm going to have a piece real soon. I'm going to have it. Do you have another one of those pops in the fridge? There's a chronic energy in the fridge. I'll have to put some in the... Uh, yeah. What's yeah. he got, an ice cream cone? Oh, okay. That's, that's Aunt B. That's Mom's oldest sister. Oh, yeah. Look at Grandpa. Yeah. Nice loser. You're right, Robert Gordon. You okay? You want to go? Strap the girl in the back of the car? Yeah. That apple didn't fall far from the tree, did it? Okay. <laughs> I heard that. I'm out of here. My okay. furnace isn't working. I took the igniter. Did you get a new one? And there's no bird in it. I unhooked it. It's Uncle Al and Grandpa's both smoking their pipes. I unhooked it right where it comes off the elbow right there. Maybe like a compressor or something. Well, it's got that blower. And I didn't stick my hand to make sure there was nothing down. Aunt B, Grandma, Mom's mom, little so Elmer. I hooked it to the elbow and looked and nothing was there. I figured if there's anything clogging, it didn't work. So then there's an igniter that I took out, ran back to where I bought the furnace. They gave me a brand new igniter. I had to model the serial number so they knew and they didn't charge me anything. I went and put the igniter and I thought, this is great, going to go quick, not going to cost me a dime. Does it work? No. 
Want me to come over and fix it? Check where it comes out, like maybe right around the roof. Uh-oh. There we are wrestling with Dad. Right where it comes out of the furnace. <laughs> right so oh, no, it was Grandpa we're wrestling with. Right. That way I figured, that way I figured, you know, if there's anything clogged anywhere, and it still didn't work. I think I didn't put the hand out. Yeah. 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 There's a, there's a, there's a, a brick chimney that comes straight down, and this glue's in there, and two water heater plants on there. And I don't know who those kids stuff. are. It's the neighbor kids, I think. <laughs> Must have been decoration day or something. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> Maybe Cousin Jake, I don't know. Must have all the neighbor kids in parading. I don't know who those are. They were some over on Riverside. They were much older than we were. Then. Doesn't look like cowboys and Indians. It looks like no. army men and Indians. Yeah. Oh, there's those a cowboy. Are, no, that's a... No, those are those are World War One army helmets. That was pre World War Two, of course. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where I am or Bill in there. Can't recognize it. And I don't know who all the neighbors are. Well, she looked like Judy, whoever she was. No. I know it's not. It's a neighbor walking by. from the old neighborhood. There were a lot of kids in the neighborhood. I guess Dad had them all over to get their pictures taken. Yeah. That may be Bill with one of those hats on. I'm not sure. somewhere. I don't recognize the place. I don't recognize, recognize the other lady. Well, she looks young there. Yeah, well, she was... Mom was born in 98, so in 29 or... Yeah, what was that? It'd be 30-something. No idea who that is? That's me, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's... uh. Coming from there? The volume button doesn't work very well. Yeah, that was evidently I didn't mute, have that section muted. Oh. Bye. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Well, there we are. Oh boy, there's an old timer. That car. Okay, Mom and Billy's first walk after, after I came. Ray came. So this now, has got to be 1927. This is, oh, this is on the 
the audio where I'm 25, I'm going to take a pause here. We're coming up Billy's first job shoveling snow in January 1928. I was a month old then. We had some pretty good snows there. Thank goodness we got global warming. We don't have that much snow anymore. He wasn't a very good snow shoveler. Oh, there's a good scoop. Well, he was only, you know, like I two and a half. Jesus. That's the back step over there on Riverside. No railing on this no side. No railing, yeah, I was going to say. Just like Gordon's porch. <laughs> yeah. I think there's a railing on the other side. No. And there's yeah, Dad with sled. Billy in the sled pulling him. Are you getting it? No railing on those steps either. Building codes were a little lax. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, oh crash! <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened to him. <laughs> January 10th, 1928, Raymond, four weeks old. How about that? I hardly remember that day. <laughs> but you're looking good. It looks about the same, Dad. Same haircut. Still whining. No, it's too good. Oh, oh, nice kiss from Uncle Bill. Like mom put a little weight Grandpa, on it. Grandpa Geisel, that's mom's dad. Thursday, June 17th, 1928. And Grandpa had to be about 60 something then. That's that. B and Billy. Run for lunch. Is that big, big? Oh, that's Aunt Grace's husband. Uncle Leo, Grandma, Aunt Grace, they we're drinking beer down the basement. I don't think that was root beer. No? It's Aunt Grace and Aunt B dancing. Grandpa? I don't know who that guy is. I thought he was going to get hit with a horse. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for a ringer. <laughs> Look at the dance. That's Aunt Grace. That's Uncle Al. What would that old dance be called, Dad? Charleston, I guess. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. that's what I was looking for. The old Charleston. Of course, the chairs were from the funeral home. <laughs> There's still some of those around over there. That's <laughs> Grandma right with me, with me and Bobby. That's my cousin Bob. There were a lot of kids around then, huh? Yeah. Almost like now. <laughs> What's today's date? Twenty seventh. Seven twenty seventh, two thousand eight. Today. There's Bill bringing the chair down from the front porch. It's really Carl Sauer was a funeral director, and he had horses, and he brought the ponies over to have all the neighborhood kids ride ponies. And the ponies left. <laughs> they left some greeting cards for us. I don't know who that is. Too much.
much hurt to me. They got me on the pot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> a little change. Uncle Will and Aunt Anna Meyer, September 1928. Yeah, these are folks from Indiana. I think this guy, Uncle Will, was a minister, I think. Oh yeah, he's a minister. You can see he's got a minister's collar on. Yeah. We saw some pictures of him somewhere else. Gene Bester, they were neighbors of ours. Lived on the next corner on Dover Avenue and West Thirty Fifth. She was a little older than Bill. Those were three sycamore trees in the backyard, and when I remember, the last time I saw them, they were about this big around. <laughs> about two foot wide, huh? Oh, they're big, yeah, now. Ray's first walk outside, November 1920. Jeez, I was walking 11 months, how about that? Oh, they were carrying <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe I walked, I don't know. Is that Aunt Clara? Yeah, that's Aunt Clara. That's Dad's older sister. Mom with her chinchilla coat on. How about that hood ornament, huh? <laughs> that's Cousin Jake. Christmas Day, 1928. Raymond is one year old. How about that? Get hurt falling down in that outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Unless your brothers rose you down. <laughs> Dad's got a good stogie again. <laughs> Cousin Jake on the little bicycle. about that, but you have to watch Uncle Will one more time. Yeah. <laughs> that's Uncle Walter Geisel, that's Mom's older brother. And that's again Riverside Avenue, West 35th. So this is double two? No, no, we didn't see this one. Look at those rims, split rims in that thing. And Clara's Uncle Walter, Marjorie, and Virginia. I just 
Always had some people doing something in the movies. Yeah. Oh, that's him running back. Oh, oh, he's got dump there. Yeah, he'll dump us. Watch. No. Nope. He tried, but he didn't. Yeah. Archer, Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that was a big side yard. on fire over there on Riverside. Yeah. You got a clothespin and start lighting it by the water heater down the basement and it was right near a paper chute. They had a burlap bag where the paper would be thrown down and they lit that thing up and you went and hid behind the couch in the living room while the fire started. <laughs> there it is, Easter time. Sandbox. Mm -hmm. I'm yelling from the bedroom window. I'm falling asleep. Look at the light switches and the radiators over on Riverside Avenue. The light switches in the radiator? No, there were light switches, little round things where you turn the switch. Oh. Well, now we're getting older. Uncle Jewel and Dad. I don't know. Starts for that. That's little Elmer. And Elmer had to be about nine or ten there, huh? John Mullen, Barbara Dennison. The minister's kid next door and a little girl lived next door on the left. And that was a neighbor friend, Elmer Pava. We end up seeing him in a Marine uniform in a little while. Oh, that's me. I'm using my left hand, it's got to be me. Yeah. And here I am coming from work. I must have been about 16 then. That's, that's just like the bike I got now. <laughs> Roll up your pants legs so you don't get your pants yep. caught in the chain. Yep. Okay. No chain guard. That's right. And that was the old 36 Ford. Yeah. Or 41, that's it. What was the story about Grandma backing up into something? Oh, is that it right there? Throwing her back into something. Oh. 
1944, Bill's graduating. June 44. You see the shim under the step? <clears throat> Mom was still 39. She was 39 as long as I can remember. One time I realized, geez, if I'm, if I'm 18, you know, in high school, how can she still be 30? across there, that watch chain. <laughs> that dad's got Bill's graduation up and on. Sunday morning, here I come on my way from church. <laughs> Mom, a little older than me, this is, I had to be, Bill was in the army, so I had to be about 17 then, yeah. 16. Cigar today. Not one in his hand. No. What the heck? How about that? Not a darn. Window replacement going on. What? See a window there on the ground. That's oh no, that's a little greenhouse I had put in. I was in high school then, and I was taking horticulture. We built a little greenhouse. There's a basement window opened up there. There it is. <laughs> and that was our victory garden. Everybody had victory gardens then. and radishes and carrots and beets. And that's next to the garage over there, on Archwood, in behind the garage. Boy, that's some pretty fast panning. That's Susie and Barbara Dennison and Elmer and John Mullen, neighbors next door. And Bill's on leave, that had to be <laughs> and that looks like Ed Stoller's going to come and babysit the funeral while we're gone somewhere. That's one nice ride right there. That's a nice looking car, huh? Yeah. And 
there goes Bill on after leave. He's on his way. End up going over to over to Europe. Did Uncle Bill make it back before Elmer died? Oh yeah. Blue Elmer. Yeah. Oh yeah. He came back right right after I left. There's a lot of snow there. Yeah, there is. six-car garage back there. It had to all be shoveled so people could park back there when it was a funeral. There weren't any snow blowers then. Dad ended up getting a little snow plow. <clears throat> Which you'll see coming up here. Oh, summertime. That's Mrs. Dennison from next door. And that's her daughter, Barbara. Sure. No, well, we went to the McKinley Monument. <clears throat> well, that was that summer when Bill was on leave. You got Elmer on your yeah. shoulders. He graduated in June of 44. This had to be 45 summer before he went overseas. McKinley Monument is where I think it's in Canton. I don't know. Canton, Ohio. Pretty sure. <clears throat> well, there was no football game on TV that afternoon, so. Yeah. We went out somewhere. Is he walking backwards, or did I have the? Film? No, I was walking backwards. Well, that was you, huh? That was me. I was always doing something goofy. Well, who's that? Is it still you? It's no. Bill and Elmer. like near Washington, D.C.? This? Yeah. Didn't I, you go to... You were talking before about you made a trip to Washington, D.C. or something. Yeah. This is on the way there. Taking... That could have been more Taking right Bill... I know he was back home in 19, in the fall of 1945, so he must have gone home in the summer of 45. So that had to be the summer of 44 that we had those pictures of him. And I'm not sure. Yeah, now where yeah. are you here? Washington, D.C. 
BC. Yeah. That's Bill in the army. Huh. Yep. I'll have, to, I'll have to think back and figure out, get a calendar out and figure out what the time was, you know. <clears throat> so we went to Washington, as you see, while he was on leave. Is that what it was, you think? Must have been. Now he's got his, he's got his discharge from the army pin on. Is that what that is? I don't know. I'm not sure just when this is. We'll have to figure it out. But if we don't see me, he's home from the army and I'm gone. And this is 70th in Detroit, Grandma and Grandpa's apartment. right across from McDonald's at 70th in Detroit. There wasn't a McDonald's then. <laughs> I'm guessing. And where I had B and Uncle Al's and that's the, <coughs> they always had uh, Cocker Spaniels. That's Aunt Clara's house out in Rocky River on the lake. I was in the army at that point. Now, what's this all about? Tree oh, this is no, this is in Bay Village. Uh, some moms and cousins' kids bought a house out there on on Wolf Road in Bay Village, and I guess everybody was out. Everybody pitching in on something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm. Oh, I'm in the army now. Okay. I'm home on leave. I think that last picture looked like I saw. That's got to be October. Uh, that's October 1946. Well, look at that car. On the oh, yeah, they're when they're adding on to the funeral. Whole milk. Let me check on the space heaters. <clears throat> this is several years afterwards because this is after we built our building. This has got to be 19. That's Billy. So. Look at the size of them block walls. Well, 
Yeah, that's after we build our building over on Enterprise. up in the glaciers. Yeah. I threw some interesting little clips in like this. <laughs> and this trip, drove this right trips. up to the edge of the ice. <clears throat> so yeah. Look at that. Oh, forget it. <laughs> just some clips. This, I think it might be towards the end of the video <clears throat> where I threw a bunch of little... 1954. More than likely Yellowstone. Maine and... No, no, this is a... This is the end of a glacier. Is it? Yeah. Okay. You couldn't write on a wall there. <laughs> no, it's snow. Well, it's yeah. Snow bank. But I've seen that in Yellowstone before. Really? Oh, yeah. Snow bank? Absolutely. I didn't know you had snow banks in Yellowstone. Look yeah, at, in the middle of Look summer. at that. <laughs> Man, I did a great job of running a camera. July 52. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody else is running the camera. Their first vacation, big vacation, was in 19... <clears throat> when Bill, Uncle Bill got his license, right? Yeah. For the funeral. Forty-nine. There's a blip. This isn't the picture. He has some videos of the blimp that blew up. Does he have those with those? No, I never saw any of those. When the when the Hindenburg blew up, he yeah. has a video of that. He didn't take it. He bought it. This is air races again. I need to get over to Aunt Jean's to. Um, I wonder if this is a repeat of the air races. Well, you know, I've come a long way since I transferred this. I'll probably have to cut this out. Well, you sure like the air races, huh? Yeah. Somebody's hat. Somebody's <laughs> Oh, jeez. Well, this goes back to the 28-29 now. Yeah, this, this is a... I'll be cutting this stuff out of here. This is a clip of that. I think we saw some of this before. I think so, too. Did we see the heads before? I wasn't paying attention last time. I don't know. Back in the 20s now, I think. Well, we had a little rain along with the snow, huh? Looks like the ice. It. Yeah. Yeah. That's Bill and I. So I must have been about two then. Christmas 1929. Okay. Well, I saw. I mix it up a little bit. What I'll probably do is I'll put the audio to this. I was shoveling in too. Look at there. Yeah. And then I'll organize it. There's no railings on those steps. I never paid attention to that. Kids had to be smarter back then. It's not the kids that complain. 
Yeah. Those back really? steps of Gordon's. <laughs> Up and over the brick, brick of snow. There's your grandpa. Horsing uh, around. Here. Watch yeah, it. You, watch, get, you get dumped. Watch we get dumped. Oh, not that time. Our garage we were standing in front of there. He doesn't have me showing pictures of us. <laughs> and the Coleman's, that's mom's younger sister. They lived in Vermillion for a while. Uncle Leo. Well, that's a pretty fancy car. We didn't see one like those before. Can you answer that? Somebody trying to sell me something. Checking our phones. <clears throat> well, 
watermelon eating contest. There's Bill. I guess I was too little to get into that contest. Brookman reunion. Brookman, yeah. That's another. That's on again on Dad's mom's side of the family. Coke drinking contest. They were drinking out of the bottle with nipples. They had it. Yeah. See how the, who could drink the fastest out the nipple. The one that one I think bit a hole in the nipple. The one that won, I like to meet. <laughs> I just love him. Never said I love him. <laughs> Now the guys are, oh, they're just drinking. They're not using nipples. They're just drinking. Wednesday, August, 1930, with Stellars at... Stollers. Stollers. I can't read that. That's it. Stollar, the guy that worked for Dad.
Will Blase and Aunt Claire, Uncle Jewel. That's Will Blase. The owner was Martin. That's Aunt Mary. Judy, my mom, your mom. Christine? <laughs> Christine, it must be Christine. Christine and Gordon are about the same age, huh? ago it had to be Side park, huh? We just get off the highway and stop and eat. I'm not sure who that was. Pretty scenery. Some of Bill's, John Weinberg. That's been some of Bill's guys from the. God, I'm working with it. Some pictures that Bill had. Bill took with it. He's out with his group. Yeah. I don't recognize him. This might be something that I. I, I recognize. I got some reels from Billy. Yeah, I got 
I recognize John when there's John taking pictures. Oh, well, Kentucky, Kentucky Fried, Fried chicken. chicken. So that had to be, wow, Kentucky Fried didn't come in until the 60s. You met Mike over at the funeral, right? Right. That's his dad? Yeah. That's, that's Bill's house over on uh, 6200. Uh, well, that's where, that's where he was living. That's where she... That's where they lived when Bill passed away. Before Gene moved to the new house. That was the old house with the basement and the pool table and everything? Yeah. yeah. He saw that house and he told the people that they ever wanted to sell, he wanted to buy it. A, year, a couple of years later, they called him and he bought it. probably from the BFW or from their school, from their class. Now, did you get to see us pulling up? You and Mom pulling up in the car, I think, coming up here. There? With all of us, and we were in a convertible. Yeah. We were in a convertible? Watch, you'll see it. Coming up here. Maybe not. Of a different area. Christine, so that has to be 60s. Birthday party? I guess it's Chris's birthday, yeah. That's Bill's two kids. And there's John. else's birthday was near Chris Teens? Was there somebody else's? I don't know. I have to look on the kids list and see. driving up in the green one, the big green, oh, Mercury. I thought it was <clears throat> the same time as that other footage, but evidently not. <laughs> the old trolls. Is that what they were, trolls? Yeah. Everybody had a troll. Old. 
the can of candles that kept lighting themselves. Is that you? My dad. Oh boy, a yo yo. Gordon, us. Oh, I thought it was a slinky. And Monogram napkins. Is that Aunt B? Yeah. Oh, she got some too. Uncle, Uncle Al. Mm -hmm. Uncle Al was the last one of that gang. I'll tell you, Uncle Al was around. just always, he was an old dude, but he was always cool. Everybody who loved Uncle Al would yeah. come around and Pay attention to kids.
Size you can tell, huh? Yeah. Geez, even I had a tie on. Yeah, but it wasn't a narrow one. It was a short one, though. Yeah, it was. Happy fifth birthday. Looking at the old pictures. That's Dave Jean's younger brother. Get some pizza. Uh, love you there too. Bye bye. That's it. Very well done, John. 